when we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me that I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Эмма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh. You stupid oh. bitch! Oh. <laughs> Nico Bellic, baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> What did you want? Oh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money? Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So... What do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Schottler on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, trigger the explosive. It should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty 
volatile stuff. Explosive! What the fuck? Calculating route. Turn right. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hey, no man. Man. that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me.
Nico, it's Roman. I was talking to Brucey. That roid monkey? He is a good friend of mine. He'll be a good friend of yours too if you let him. Anyway, he's got some work and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's Executive Autos on Mohanad in East Hook. If Mallory calls you, we are bowling together. See you later. Hi, welcome to Cooking Bell. What can I get for you? There. Bye. You better run, bro. Vamos! Let's throw this down! Holy shit! like that. Hey. Uh... Hello? I'm busy. I said hello. Ow! Motherfucker! Is your boss around? What'd you do that for? Is your boss around? Yeah, he's around. Brucey, some fucking Polak asshole for you. Pleasure to meet you, too. He's not a Polak. He's a gentleman. Still a fucking asshole. Sorry, Nikki, man. How's things? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm big, but I'm also fast. Wake up, boy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, can you show me that again? <laughs> ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Enough, man! Enough! Oh! oh. <laughs> Fuck me, You'll be man. all right, huh? Oh, that's some Red Army shit. Serious. You gotta show me that one. I'm all about power. Come on, touch my pecs, man. No, thank you. Rock hard. I bench 450. I'm an, uh, no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, no shit. What are you doing here, man? Well, Roman said maybe you needed some help and we need some money real bad. Shit, my bad. Yeah, of course. Love that guy. Love him. I mean, I am no chubby chaser, but if I was and a queer, that guy would be in trouble. You know what I'll I mean? let them know. <laughs> hey, I'm shitting with you. Brucey likes pussy. Remember that, all right? Okay. All right now, Nikki, listen up. 
I know you guys need money, bad. Yeah. This ain't a nice job. Not exactly mom and pop shit. No problem, as long as the pay is good. Sometimes people fuck other people over, okay? And the people that fuck other people need to get fucked with, especially people that go into hiding before they can get on the stand and put a lot of guys inside for a lot of time. What? I need you to whack some people, only they're in hiding. How do I find him? Man, you're cold! You didn't even blink! Love that! I fucking love that! You gotta steal a police car. Get on the computer, give me a call. They're easy to hack. Not really. All right, Brucey. I'll give you a call. <laughs> Ice cold, man! Ice cold! I'm here. I have a computer. You're a badass, man. I love it. Now this cat's name's Lyle Revis. Type it into the computer, and you should get some known whereabouts and shit. I take them out myself, but when people see me coming, they fucking run, man. Know what I'm saying? Cats don't want to mess with someone packing 24-inch guns like mine, baby. Yeah! I'll track down this Revis. Cool, man. I'm feeling chills down the phone. Call me when it's done, bro.
Lyle Revis, I got the message from Brucey for you. Brucey? I thought he was fucking joking. Shit! worry about Revis anymore. Ladies though, man, a lot of people are gonna be very grateful that certain people who fucked with them can't say things to other people or fuck with anyone anymore. If you get me. I get the money you're paying. You're all about the cabbage. I mean, the lettuce, the lettuce. Ice cold, man. I love it. There'll be some more work when you need it. Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fausto. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy. So they want me to? No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later.
Not in the mood for this. It's a pleasure. I'm in a hurry. Lucky for you. I can't wait to get inside. I wish I could come in with you. Nico! Nico Bellic! You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over! You brought this on yourself! You pushed things! Too far! You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri... My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice! You should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen. Had I not been there, meet for some gin monkey. I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! We'll tie you up with your like tongue! Worm, like spineless worm, belly! <laughs>
I told you not to annoy me. Faustin is dead. You did a good thing, a hard thing, but a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. Someone here to see you. I'm working out. Six. Hey, Brucey. Nico. One second. Sorry. <clears throat> Why didn't you tell me it was Nico? Why? Man, women. Man, women. Yeah. 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 Man, I'm ready for you, Nikki. I'm ready. I'm ready for fucking anything. Yeah! Wah! 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 Whoa! Oh, motherfucker. Are you all right? You seem a little tense. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just juicing. Makes me a little pent up. Juicing? Yeah. Bull shark testosterone, amigo. Ordered online from Chile. Makes you feel really male. Hey, be careful, man. I heard that stuff does funny things to your balls. Hey. Do I look like I got funny balls to you? <laughs> I haven't considered it. Uh, you sent me a message. What do you want? Want help? I'm losing the plot here. Pause. Nah, I'm shitting you, man. Now look, you did really good with that thing. A lot of people are very grateful. Now listen, that guy Lyle had a car worth stealing. Can you get it? He left it in an alleyway off of Yorktown Avenue in Steinway. If you pay like last time, no problem. Yeah, of course. Any risks? Nah. 
Easy as can be. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll just go take care of it then. Yeah! Bye. No risks, Brucey? Maybe this juicing is fucking with your head. He trying to take Lyle's bribe. That ain't your car. Brucey asked me to bring this by. You're lucky it looks as good as it does. The only thing Brucey thinks is good looking is himself in the mirror. Thanks. Just to get ugly, man. The car is in your locker. It was not so easy. People were waiting for me. Shit, man. If I'd known it'd be like that, I'd have gone again. People don't fuck with Brucey. I mean, you're cool, though. You made it, man. You got the mad red army driving skill. I'll show you out with some big rims, spinning ones, crazy original styles, you know? We'll cruise, we'll hang. All right, all right? Thanks, homie. Thanks.
haven't seen mess until you killed someone with barbed wire. You should always use a phone book to beat a cop. Watch where you're going, amigo! Who is this Mama Huevos? Hello, welcome to Cloaking Bell. How can I help you? Here it is. Bye. Hey, fuck you, Bendel. I should have glassed that fucker when I had the chance. Browse, buddy, but don't try anything funny. Oh, yeah, beautiful choice. See you again, shooter! <laughs> 